Hi everybody, Emma here. I thought I'd do a live unboxing of what I've just got in my delivery this week. Um, I've got some of the new July to December items, so some Christmas items coming up to show you, and also a couple of things from the new annual catalogue, because I hadn't yet done my order yet, as uh, I was waiting for the mini to come out. So I'll start off by showing you a few things I've got. So first up, I've got the lovely go-to greetings. These are a red rubber stamp set, but I just love how they come in lots of different fonts. I then got the This Birthday Piggy. See, I work at the pig and I just had to get the piggy items. There's just no doubt about it, I have to have piggies. These are going to be great for making cards for my colleagues for their birthday and I think they'll find the funny side of things. Um, next up, I got these. These are boxes. I'll just take them out to show you. They're super simple to put together and you can actually tie them shut with ribbon. So you've got, they're already um, got the tape on them already. So literally to assemble the box, you gently fold on these. All of the um, fold lines here. So these items are all from the annual catalogue. I'll show you the July to December ones in a little while. Um, so literally they fold up like this. And then to close it, you've got the holes just here and here, and on the back as well, here and here, so you can thread your ribbon through and um, make a bow at the front. Uh, I've seen quite a few people have actually lined the back of this with a coloured card, so you can see the pattern more uh, clearly, which I think is a great idea, which I'll probably be doing with. Might even try it with some DSP behind and see how it comes out. Um, but that's those little boxes, and I think they come in a... They're a pack of eight, so a decent amount. So these would be good for wedding favours or birthday parties um, and stuff like that. Um, one of the big things I want to show you is this huge paper pack. So this is one of the host products. Um, and there is so much paper in here. You get 48 sheets, I believe it is. There's 12 different double-sided designs. These don't go with any specific suite, but they will sort of coordinate with a lot of the suites. So you've got a bit of everything. So if you don't want to buy everything from a suite, you just want the stamps or dies, you're more than likely going to find some DSP in this host paper pack that um, will match what you're doing. Um, you have to spend um, over a certain amount, um, I can't think off the top of my head what it is, but I'll put it in the comments afterwards. So after you spend a certain amount, I think it may be around £150, but don't quote me on that until I've double checked it. Um, and for the size of the paper pack, it is well worth the value. There's so much in here. So you've got lots of the uh, dark purples, Blackberry Bliss. And then everything in this one. So you've got bicycles. So this will go well with the um, male suites that we've got currently. So, there's so many different designs. Might even be more than 12 different sheets. Is it 12? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then maybe it is 12, but they're all double sided, so you've got 24 designs all together. You've got some of these are ombre effects, so you've got the dark up here and the lighter down here. And on the back of that, stripes. And the floral. So you've got floral ones in quite a different amount of colours, which is great. And on the back, stripes. There's a lot of stripes in here, a lot of florals, there's a few masculine ones. So there's something for everybody really. Leaves on that side and you've got a uh, pattern. There is a um, stamp set and a embossing folder that's very similar to this design. So they coordinate really well. Love this one. So even though it looks like it could be leaves, it could also be um, Christmas lights. So... Uh, with a little bit of glitter here and there or some embossing you can make that into Christmas fairy lights 
another stripey. I can't think what this pattern's called. I keep going to say fleur de lis, but I'm not sure. <laughs> not very up together with all of these things. So, so there's four sheets of each of the designs on the back of that one. You've got birds. So it's four sheets of each design, 12 different designs. So yeah, 48 sheets of paper in that paper pack. So it's quite a huge paper pack there. Just try and keep things organised as I go, which is not very easy in my craft space. I don't have that much space, so it's currently in one corner of my bedroom. So I'm working around everything else. So I've got these embossing folders. I did have the others that um, have just retired. The um, hello and thank you, I think it was. Um, they've just retired. No, it was the dotty ones that retired that I had the dotty hearts. I've got the hello and thank you ones as well. And then I seen the congratulations and happy birthday. And I thought they'd make these would make great um, backgrounds on cards. So we've got the congratulations one here. So it says it in loads of different languages, which I think is great. Because in my job as well, we work with a lot of different people from different um, backgrounds. So we have Spanish, French and Polish people working with us currently. So it'd be nice for me to make cards for them with... Uh, it in their language as well. I'll just pop those to one side. Um, next up I've got the Pretty Flowers embossing die. In, until now I've not had many of the embossing folders so um, I thought I'd branch out and get a few more embossing folders this time to give me a better background and things. And a little bit more choice. There we go. Uh, next up, so the first suite I got from the annual catalogue was the um, Forest Friends suite. So you've got the Forest Friends stamps and then, oh, I should have opened this up in advance. I've literally just got everything out of the box. I just made sure everything was there on uh, Thursday when it arrived, but I was at work for the rest of the week. So we've got the dies here. So the dies, so open it up. These are red rubber stamps again. So you've got the bear, um, owl, fox, and these are just gonna be great. My kids love making cards with me as well. So I thought these would be great for them to make cards for their friends um, and some new baby ideas and stuff like that. So we'll see where the crafty inspiration takes us. So that was the stamps and dies just pop those back in there pop those to one side um you also get a twin pack of ribbon in this suite so i think it's the old old olive and sahara sand ribbon again i didn't have many ribbons until now so i've specifically bought a couple of sweets this time that come with ribbons and embellishments because I thought some of my cards were a little bit plain sometimes so this one's slightly narrower than this one if you put it like this maybe it'll be able to see a little bit easier so they might even be good to uh, layer them on top of each other to create those which would be great and then with that sweet here's the DSP pack this is a 12 by 12 pack again it's double sided you get two sheets of each design so we've got the mushrooms and then I would go to say hearts, but they're sort of like V shapes as well, but they could be hearts. And I love this forest theme. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet, but I just love these. These would be great cut up in six by six or even as just card fronts by themselves. So I see where those take me. What I might do actually is this part here is make this into a card front and then if the bear works out the right size I might cut out the bear and pop him up on dimensionals and just give it a little bit more dimension to the picture as well so watching for that one and on the back we've got this one so on the back we've got more um patterns on the front it's more scenery so we've got the trees here the mushrooms flowers there we go hopefully you can see all of that on the camera and we've got leaves on the back of this one like vines which are quite pretty 
I love this one. I love the acorns in this one. I love acorns. I think they're super cute. So wait and see what comes up with the acorns. And we've got the. I see the circles, but they could also be like um, wood ringlets as well, which is quite cute. Again, we've got the wood here. Acorns again. Lots of acorns. I love the acorns. On the back of that one, we've got like crosses, which is like a grey. And then last up, we've got this one, which is quite a busy one for me, but I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this page. Now on the back, again, it's like the hearts and these, but this time they're diagonally rather than straight. So the colours in this paper pack is Basic Grey, Blushing Bride, Calypso Coral, Mossy Meadow, Old Olive, Sahara Sand, Smoky Slate, Soft Suede and So Saffron. So I love that on the back of the packs it actually gives you your um colors here to tell you what coordinates with it which makes it so much easier when you're making a card because otherwise i have to get my flip chart out that jez so kindly made me when she took me on as a team member and it has every color um and normally i refer to that but then when these paper packs have actually got the colors on the back it's so much easier for me to find the right color that coordinates seeing as i'm still a newbie i've only been here a year but i'm still getting in the swing of things of being a demonstrator um i do have my blog um, that's up and running that's on wordpress which is again ms cards and paper crafts so you can have a look there i'll also link it below in the comments later on um next up was the other suite i got from the um annual catalog i've seen so many lovely projects made with this that i could not get it so as soon as i could i did order it so this is a happiness abound set and there's so many lovely things made with this i'm not normally a flowery person i tend to go for more cutesy things but i'm trying to go for a little bit more grown up now so we've got the stamp set and the coordinating dies so i love this one i can't wait to make backgrounds with this one and i love how these make the um paper um like spiral notebook kind of paper design on them um, so these are photopolymer see-through stamps i prefer see-through stamps so i can see where i'm stamping but red rubber you always get so much better definition um especially with animals um and the more intricate flowery designs so it's kind of a trade-off where you can see what you're doing or you get better definition in your work um so i Stampin' Up always make the best decision for which stamp should be red rubber and which should be photopolymer. But there are sometimes I do wish that it was the other way around, just to being able to see what I'm doing. Um, you've also got the glossy dots that come with the um, Hues of Happiness um, suite and also the DSP pack. So I'll just show you that now. I'll go through the colours as well with you that are in this one. So in this one we've got Coastal Cabana, Daffodil Delight, Flirty Flamingo, Fresh Freesia, Gorgeous Grape, Granny Apple Green, Mango Melody, Melon Mambo, Mossy Meadow, Night of Navy and Pool Party. So it's quite a rainbow of colours in here. And when I say rainbow, just look at these papers. They are like amazing. And on the back of them, you have rainbow colours. This one's like starry, crossy kind of design on the back of that one. You've got a rainbow of flowers going on here. Look at that, how amazing is that? And on the back of this one, a full rainbow. Rainbows! I love rainbows. So then we've got this one here. So there's a couple of these that sort of like carry on from each other. So I've kind of got these two. So it starts off with the purple, this ends goes through to the pink pink and then you've got more of the yellow this end so i love how they carry on from each other so on the back of this one i've got a darker one with lots of light flowers part of the rainbow again i love the backgrounds on the back of these sheets more of the rainbow and the last of the rainbow so you can actually put these together like this and you could create one huge piece of artwork which i think is amazing so if you wanted to make i don't know um like 
uh, canvas, I don't know, decoupage onto a canvas and create a rainbow with lots of flowers. Um, might be something I do, I'm not sure yet. But I just love how those three sheets create one huge, great big long um, background. So that's the happiness of bounds. So now we're on to the good stuff. Now I've got the July to December stuff to show you, which is a real sneaky peek. So first up, I got the Lights A Glow um, Christmas Suite. Again, I wanted to go a little bit more grown up this year. We did lots of penguins and deer last year, and I thought that was a little bit more cutesy. So this year I've gone for a more grown up um, suite. So this is a red rubber stamp again. You've got the tree, the snowflake, decorations. Um, and then you've got the brightest glow, which is all of your sentiments again, and the red rubber. And then with those, there's actually two sets of dies as well. So this is what I'd call a double sweet, I guess you'd call it. So you get two stamp sets, two sets of dies, and it all coordinates. So that is the dies that go with this one. So you've got the outline for the Christmas tree. You've got like... Um, I'd say a cut out dimpling design and then you can stamp this on the top and it would give you more definition as well so you'd have the colour as well as the embossing sort of design and the die cut and then we've got the die for the snowflake as well can't wait to try this one out to see what it looks like I think they're going to make some really nice intricate snowflakes so you've got hundreds of other different snowflakes these ones here you can see that they've got like dots cut out so they don't actually cut out a snowflake shape like this one does or the christmas tree outline does these will just cut holes into your um work so if you're using your card base you could put like three or four of these in the corner and they'd actually just cut out these little circles so the snowflakes would actually be a i don't know like how do you call it maybe a silhouette in your cutout rather than an actual cutout design you'd put on it like this one so it's like opposite so this would just cut out a silhouette in your card whereas this would cut out big holes in your card like this one and we've got the one for the mini christmas tree too and then the other um dies you get are These ones, these are like labels and backgrounds. So again, this one would cut out a design. And then you can put one of your sentiments in the middle of the circle. So it is the season, maybe in the center of this. And you'd have this lovely detailed cut out um, around it. So again, you've got more of these snowflakes here, like having the other dies set. And you've got a nice little swirl as well. And this one you could put on the edge of a card. So you can see your DSP peeping through or a different coloured um, card peeping through, which I think is really pretty. And then you've got a couple of labels that would fit with your uh, um, sentiments as well. So they'd fit in there nicely. So your Merry Christmas would go in there nicely. Um, and then with this being a big suite as well, there is a lot of DSP and speciality paper that comes with this one. So you've got this DSP pack, which is the lights of glow. So it's got basic black, cherry cobbler, evening evergreen, soft succulent, and very vanilla. And of course, it's a speciality one. You've got all of the gold foiling on one side. So you have different designs like this. You see all of the shiny. I just love all the greens and reds. And I can't wait to make Christmas cards this year. So love this one it's sort of like a tree but like the branches so i suppose it'd be like a christmas tree wrapped in christmas lights i love how people decorate their uh, garden sometimes with the christmas lights and then on the back of these is just similar designs in the different colors you've got like the light glows but the other side is not foiled so this is just plain colored and there's actually so many sheets of DSP in this pack. So you get four of each design. And I think there's 12 designs. So, 40, yeah, 48 sheets of six by six in that one. Um, you've then got the 12 by 12 speciality foiled paper as well. I think this is six sheets, this one. 
and you've got yep soft succulent the gold again and the red i think it's soft succulent let me double check on that yep soft succulent cherry cobbler and gold and these ones are single sided they're not double sided these ones but still i think they're gonna make great backgrounds and i think that even may be able to cut out with the snowflake die if you wanted to so that's one of the 12 by 12 speciality papers that comes with it and then you've also got the 12 by 12 glimmer paper which is in evening evergreen gold and very vanilla and there's six sheets in this one so again two of each and just look at the sparkle on that these are super sparkly these are textured sparkly so the glitter doesn't come off but you can feel the raised glitter there so it's quite a sparkly one going on and they're quite thick as well they're probably slightly thicker than the other glimmer paper the in color glimmer paper that we've got this time they're slightly thicker than that so six sheets in there of the three different colors and two of each color um also in this suite so we're still going on this one suite this double suite the lights are glow we've got the golden metallic ribbon sort of like an organza in the middle a satin on the edges with the metallic in the middle so i can't wait to make some bows with this on the front of my cards they're gonna be super pretty this year and then last but not least we have the adhesive backed pearls see when i seen somebody else open these the other day i was reading red and green and i was like well where's the red there is red it's hidden way up underneath the top card banner so i was worried that they were the wrong ones but oh one's just come off the sheet there trying to slide it out but you do have red up the top so you've got the red the green silver and gold Let's pop those back in and make sure I don't lose that loose one that's just come off. We don't want to waste any. There we go, just pop it back on there. Hopefully it's going to stay. If not, then I see slightly out, slightly out of place and I use that one first. So I don't lose it. So that was the two stamp sets in there. Two die sets, the 6x6 six six paper pack, the adhesive back gems, the ribbon the limmer paper and the speciality paper so there's so much in that suite is a huge suite and i think it's going to be a good one can't wait to use it so there's that one and with the start of the new july to december catalogue as well we also have a celebration coming again we love celebrations so there's lots of goodies to show you that I've actually got as freebies as part of the celebration. So, next suite up is, I said that I know I wanted to go grown up, but I can't help but just get one suite that was slightly more cutesy. And I've seen this one, and I have so many friends that are going to appreciate their Christmas cards this year. We have gonks, or gnomes, whatever you want to call them, but they are super cute. And I can't wait to use these. So this is the DSP pack that comes with this thing. You've got trees, snowy scenes, and this definitely gives me uh, frozen themes. I know they're not quite gnomes, they have trolls in Frozen, but still, this one here looks so much like Sven. And it does make me think of uh, slightly frozen themes. And Toadstool Houses, how cute are they? I can't wait to cut those out. I think they're going to uh, make lovely cards reindeer foxes and bunny rabbits they are super cute christmas trees another little scene so again with this paper pack you've got more scenes on one side and then patterns on the other side this one is a lovely one i love this pattern it's not too busy but it's just a lovely light background um toadstools mushrooms super cute not going to debate over what they are but they are super cute and I love, love these snowflakes. There's definitely going to be something special coming up with these snowflakes. 
So I'll go through the colours in this um, suite with you. Um, Balmy Blue, Basic Black, Bermuda Bay, Calypso Coral, Early Espresso, Night of Navy, Pacific Point, Pale Papaya, Pool Party, Poppy Parade and Soft Suede. So all of these four suites that I've shown you, they don't really have the new in colours in, which I'm quite surprised by. They're all of our normal favourites that are in our normal colour palette. Um, so the only suite I did get not too long ago that had all of the in colours in was the Teacup Boutique. Um, I've made quite a few projects now of those. Um, you can see all of those projects over my blog again. Again, I will link that down in the comments after the video's ended. Um, but I'm so surprised that there's no other in colours in the new suite. It's, it's really few and far between on those. Um, lastly i want to show you is all of the freebies that i have got that you can also get if you buy through celebration so with a 45 pound spend or a 90 pound spend um you can earn free products um and here's a few of them i've got to show you so first up is this i call this a big pack of cards there's 20 cards in here so you've got 10 of the pool party and 10 of the soft sea foam and they're sort of a leafy, florally sort of background. And you also have coordinating envelopes. So they're the uh, soft sea foam on the outside. And then you've got the hint of the uh, pool party on the inside. So that's that one's free with a £45 spend. Um, next up we've got the silver and gold speciality paper. Had to get these. So I thought these would go with the uh, really well with the lights aglow sweet that I've got because it's gold as well and it brighten up the cards because some of the lights are glow DSP is a little bit darker green reds so it'd be nice to get some white in there so we've got stripes and spots in both silver and gold this one is also free with a 45 pound spend during celebration um 24 pieces in there so that's six of each of the four designs so I think I said that one was free with £45 spend. Um, we've got... Uh, this one has a matching suite, but I didn't buy the suite. I just liked the paper. So I thought I'd get the paper and see what I can do with it. So this is... This matches the wooden... can't think of the name of the suite uh, or stamp set. It's like the wooden ring logs. So this um, DSP is called the Rings of Love. Um, the colours in it are Crush Curry, Evening Evergreen, Mint Macaron, Night of Navy, Parakeet Party, Petal Pink, Poppy Parade and Soft Suede. So again, we've got some of those uh, same colours repeating again. We've had quite a lot of Night of Navy, Poppy Parade popping up in these few. So we've got Flowers, Gingham, I think it's Gingham. I think that's what you call it lots more acorns i love the acorns and i love this one on the back as well so it's going to be a toss-up over which one's going to be my favorite and which one i'm going to use and that might decide to do a project where you can see both sides of the paper i know that sounds difficult but there are a few projects i've done recently that do and i've done a um small mini journal folder folio not sure how you describe it but there, how you make the pockets is you have one side of the paper and you fold it up like that so you do actually get to see both of them then you've got pockets to put different things in might actually do a new folio with the one of these new suites um, maybe a Christmas one to put Christmas photos in maybe um, or make the most of Christmas cards because I don't have the room to keep all of my Christmas cards so it'd be nice just to keep sort of like elements from the front of them so that even for the kids so they don't have to throw all their Christmas cards away or recycle them all maybe recycle them into something they can keep and remember their christmas so this one i love this one sort of like an alcohol ink washed out sort of blended page houses be great for a new home card not sure if i've got any stamps that would go with a new home theme but i love these might see if I've got a big enough circle die so I can cut these out and use these as like background pieces. Again, more toadstools. 
and then these bits here these ringlets you can cut those out with the ring ring of, is it rings of love um dies so you have a um large die that will cut all five of these out at once so you just turn the die around and it will cut all of them out i think that's lovely I haven't got the dies don't know if i'll buy the dies but i like the paper i might fussy cut some of them out and see if i like it not really sure yet nice flowery one i love the poppy braid in this I just love the flowers and there's leafy branchy sort of background it's quite tall trees they're in perspective they look really big so that's that one um that was free with a 45 pound spend as well and then next up i've got a couple of stamp sets so amazing phrasing this one is free with a 90 pound spend i believe this one is so you've got lots of different phrases in here great for all of your different sentiments you can make your own sort of sentences up with these um so you've got so you've got to another year or you could just use another year and then together um you're doing and then amazing or it's going to be amazing you've got this for who so many different ways and different ways you can make all the phrases up i just thought these would be good for making lots of different cards different um sentiments just because you don't normally get too many words and with those words you've got there you can probably make up your own sentences it by um um what's it called um masking some of your stamps so you can use a single word from each one um next up so each of these is a different one but happiest hippos again a little bit cutesy not really grown up but had to have them so this is one item this is another item this is free with a 45 pound spend this is free with a 45 pound spend but there are so many different things you can do with these hippo stars she's got snorkel and goggles flowers life ring sunglasses a boat a bathtub you've got like waves to put your boat boat on as well party hat splashes umbrella you can make your own scenes this die set will make so many different cute scenes it's unbelievable can't wait and of course you've got the ballet ballet in hippo which i think is cute so that is all of the um celebration bits i've got so far there's nothing to say that i won't make another order during celebration when it starts so celebration starts when the catalogue goes live at the beginning of july so the july to december catalogue we will have celebration from july to august i'll put more details up on my page about that soon um so you can all join in and have a look and celebration is honestly the best time to make orders you get so many free products when you're already buying stuff so it's extra craft products really and there's some super super cute things um that you can be getting there's quite a few more in the actual catalogue i can't show you the catalogue yet because i haven't actually received my catalogue yet it's still in the post to me but it should be here before it goes live um at the beginning of july i'll do another live video at the beginning of july as soon as it has gone live just to show you through the catalogue um and show you what it's about this time um i hope you've enjoyed my video today and i hope you've enjoyed seeing all of the things i've got to offer you thank you very much for joining me bye bye